You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a familiar face for cable television, Linda Siegel Croker from Family and Community Resources. Yes. Pleasure. Nice to nice see you. Nice to see you. You guys do great work. You help a lot of people. Domestic violence, all sorts of programs. Yes. And since we're in the giving season, Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is technically in winter, but we won't talk about that part. Does I like the snow. Okay. I like it as long as I don't have to shovel it, which I don't anymore because <laughs> I moved to a condo, but that's besides the point. But I'm not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fall person. I love fall. And they all blend together now. Yeah. We've got a bunch of things going on over at Family and Community Resources. We do. The first one we're going to talk about is Thanksgiving. Yes. So tell us what you guys are doing with Thanksgiving. So every year we do a Thanksgiving basket drive for some of our most vulnerable families. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that we can give them a healthy Thanksgiving dinner for their family. So this year we had a great response from the community, especially the Brockton area and AACP. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we will be giving baskets to 25 families. That's great. This year, which is fantastic. Rep Dubois is bringing the pies. She always shows up with lots of pies, which we love. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's a great thing for our families. You know, it's the holidays, and this is the start of it, can be a very stressful time for families who are experiencing violence and domestic violence. And this is just, you know, one way for us to start helping them feel safe um, and have hope for the rest of the season. Good way to start the season. So besides that, December 3rd, which is a Tuesday, and I'm shutting my phone off because I don't think I did before this, <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure it doesn't ring. No, it's off. it was off. Okay. Um, Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday. December 3rd. Yes. And giving, in my opinion, should always be on the local level. It's wonderful to do stuff internationally. Don't get me wrong. I'm a member of Rotary International. But on the local level, your dollar can go so much further and help people right in your own neighborhood. It could be someone you know. It may not be someone you know, it could be someone you don't know, but you're helping out right here, and there's not a lot of administrative overhead. So what are you guys doing for Giving Tuesday? So we are having an open house on Giving Tuesday from 4 to 7 at our main office on 18 Newton Street. So we encourage everyone to come out, meet our staff, meet some of our board members, have a few treats, and tomorrow we are having a wreath-making workshop at for our that. office for that. Okay. So Shirley Azak, who's city councilor, our, one of our board members, Posh Flowers, yeah. and then Claire and Joe from the Brockton Garden Club are coming to help oh. teach us how to make bows and some beautiful wreaths. So we're putting the wreaths together and then we will offer them for sale during our oh. open house. Okay. So you can come by and pick up a beautifully handcrafted wreath and know that what you've done is help a family this Christmas Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, have a little more fun. All of the proceeds will immediately go to serving our families. That's great, and Shirley does a great job. Shirley's always there, like when they have the senior luncheon in the summer, all the seniors get flowers. Yes. She's done some beautiful arrangements, she and has. she usually brings her daughters along with her a lot of the time. I know one of them's at BC now, yes. so I'm not sure whether that'll happen. I think she's bringing her sister, okay. who is apparently Bow maker extraordinaire. Joyce Azak, Joyce, yes. who does all the wonderful work with the schools, with and cradles to crayons, cradles to crayons yep. and all that stuff. And that's a wonderful family in Brockton. Yep. That's a Brockton treasure. The mother, her mother, their mother is a wonderful lady. All the homemade Lebanese foods, oh my goodness, I, you can't get enough of them. But yep. Giving Tuesday, um, there's lots of ways to give. But there, again, on the local level, the you local can level. you can give something and get something, yep. or you can just give. Or you can just give. Okay, yep. tell us the website and ways people can give to family and community resources. So our website is simple. It's www.fcr-ma.org. Okay. And you just click on the donate button, and there are all these options. So right. we have one-time donations. You can sign up for our Lifeline for Love, which is a monthly donation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another way you can donate is time. We are always looking for volunteers, okay, um, especially for events. Um, and so, can they get the donate button? Do they call you? They call me. Phone number: five zero eight five eight three six four nine eight. 
which has been a number for a long time. Yeah. Certain for numbers that time. I remember, and say, I used to remember numbers, now you just hit a button and yes. it goes to it. But I remember yeah. that number because one of my lifelong friends was Wayne McAllister, yes. who I think of all the time, not just this season, I think about him every election season because him and I used to dissect election results. That was our favorite thing to do. And he was my colleague on the school committee, so I miss him. Um, so giving, we did, we did the Thanksgiving basket drive, we did the open house for Giving Tuesday, talked a little bit about volunteerism, but you can also adopt a family. Yes, Tell you us can about adopt that. a family. We have been doing this for a long time now. Every Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever your holiday may be, we connect um, with a loyal group of very generous donors who adopt families, who come to FCR for services, um, whether it be visitation or other counseling services that we might have. Um, and the families put together a wish list of items. Mostly it's things they need, really, not things they want, just because of their situations. And then we hand those lists off to our dedicated adoptive family donors, and they go out and fill the wish lists. Um, they bring, or sorry, they put groups together at their office, do tour drives at their office. Mm -hmm. You know, friends will group together and take two or three families and adopt them. So if anyone is interested in doing that, we are certainly happy to have more. And that's um, on the website families. too? It is on the website, but okay. you can also call Kathy Stowe, who was at our visitation center, um, at 508-584-2809. Mm -hmm. She's been running the program for a long time now. Uh, she does a great job. Um, this year we already have 30 families adopted out, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. How many do you need? You know, I think last year we did about 50 families. Nice. Okay. Um, but the more, you know, the more donors we have, the more families we can adopt. And you know what? It's not just at holiday time. So what happens is after holidays are over, people aren't thinking about stuff as much. And it's a year-round need. It's it all is. the time. I mean, you go to the next holiday, it's Valentine's Day. Could be a tough time, too. So you can help people. You can get something back. You can give something, all of that. Or you could volunteer. Or you can volunteer. And when you give... You make someone else happy, but the endorphins that you get, that you experience yourself, and the joy that you experience yourself just from giving, is it's a great feeling. Absolutely. You know, I went shopping to get the wreath, some of the things for the wreath making. I had so much fun. A, because I love shopping, and B, because I know it's going to mean something. It's going to something. So you're not just going someplace and buying a wreath at Walmart or something. Right. You're buying something that's handmade, that means something, and is going to help somebody. It's going to help somebody. Mm -hmm. So I think, like I said, all you guys do is great work. We're glad to help promote it. Thank you. Um, and just remember, family and community resources and all the numbers were given out earlier. There's a Thanksgiving basket drive, which is just about done. Um, open house, 4 to 7, December 3rd at what number, Newton Street? 18 Newton Street. Okay, there we go. And then um, adopt a family drive. There's also the Lifeline for Love, as Linda pointed out, that you can do things on a monthly basis. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having you're, me. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.